Okay, y'all. So, we just finished day one of BeautyCon. It was, what, 9 to 6? 10 to 6. Yeah. 10 to 6, actually. And since we got a certain ticket, we um get a bag. Oh, this is the front. We get a bag with full-size products in there. It's supposed to be like $200 worth of products and this is like our little entry pass and it can't come off. So you have to keep it on until it's time to go. So I'm about to show y'all what's in my bag. I have not looked in the bag yet, so I'm about to be just as surprised as y'all when I um open the bag. Oh, when I was there, I got this straightener because I broke mine. This is the straightener I got. I bought it for $80. It's like $300 something dollars on the website. So this is a really good deal. And that's the one thing about BeautyCon. They were having so many good sales and deals. So that's be worth it. Um,
yeah so that looks like that's all that's in there which is a lot of stuff but um I would definitely be trying this stuff out and All right, hey y'all. So, this is, um, you know, I did my hauler bag thing yesterday, which y'all just saw. But um, I'm just gonna do like a quick review on how I thought BeautyCon was, um, what the real tea of it was this year. Cause I'm not sure if y'all follow BeautyCon or if y'all were at BeautyCon. And you know, I, I seen a lot of complaining, so I'm just gonna do like a quick like review about what I thought about it. So yesterday, um, which is Saturday, I had like I had fun. It was a lot. It was a lot of long lines. Um, a lot of places. Well, nobody was really going on. Um, it was like two sides, and then like in the middle, it was the DJ. Well, not the DJ. Um, the, like the place where the the speak the panels were held so nobody was like really on the side where like Target and stuff was and like some of like the tea and um, the nail care and everything like that so those lines weren't as long but those were in like Sally Beauty like all of those side that whole side was giving away samples and I think so many people were on the other side where all the makeup brands were mostly that they didn't get really any samples because they weren't on the side where all the samples were um, cause like that whole side was giving away samples. Like all you had to do was pretty much follow them on Instagram or something and get a sample. And if honestly, if you didn't want them on your feed, you can always unfollow them. It's really not that serious, but yeah. Um, but the other side, it was just a lot going on. And I think that to stand in that long, in that huge line, you should have at least got something like you would be standing in line for like 30, 45 minutes, hours, like, and for you to not get anything. And I don't agree with that because y'all are, y'all are big brands. Like y'all have, y'all have the capability to give giving away something. It could be a, a face mask, but these people are standing in line to take a picture at y'all photo booth to get sent it to their phone and they're not getting any free products. Meanwhile, I'm in the middle of New York City and oh all you gosh. hear is beeping. This is annoying. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Shut up. All right, I'm back. So, um, I, yeah, I had to pause what I was saying because it was too much noise, but back to what I was saying. So, um, and then the samples. So, the hauler bag. All right, so, when I first opened it, I was actually like really like I still am happy about what I got because a lot of the products was dedicated to me and like people that had like curly hair and stuff like that um, it was a lot of hair care skin care they had some nails um, <laughs> y'all saw what I called them but yeah they had some nails I'm just gonna give them to my niece because um, I'm not gonna wear them but um, I do wish there were more makeup products. It was really disappointing reading the comments at, at, on BeautyCon's Instagram and seeing that people got all of these, like a, a MAC palette, a Becca palette, and they could barely close their bags and how they got w ripped off. I definitely thought that a multi-purpose cleaner was not necessary for anything that they, like I don't understand, like I already have. To stay on New York 495 West. I already have a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, Y'all, sorry, Siri or whatever is on, so she's about to interrupt me and get on my nerves. <laughs> but <laughs> um, what I can say about the hauler bag. So what I want everybody to know is it's called Beauty Con. That does not correlate to makeup products. Beauty is skincare, hair care, nail care, makeup, whatever vagina you want it to care. be. Yeah, it's vagina medicine. care. It's beauty. Like <laughs> it's not. It's not just makeup and and I think people correlate beauty with makeup and that's why everybody is so mad that that they didn't get makeup and I'm just like okay maybe past years people were complaining about not getting enough enough skincare products because honestly for your makeup to look flawless or to go on like this you have to have good skin so if you don't have um, you know some 
like really nice skin for your foundation to lay on properly it's not gonna look right that's just the real tea so I think people would need to realize that beauty is not just makeup because you can be beautiful without makeup but you you want to take care of your whole body that's beauty and I think people need to realize that but I do think they should have gave us like a percentage of everything in the bag it should have been like a percentage of makeup a percentage of skincare a percentage of hair care vaginal care whatever you wanted it to be like that's what I think it should have been I don't like some of the stuff they was just given was just like multi-purpose cleaner and also like the shampoos and stuff that they gave us I was real excited for it but I didn't realize into the comments like I, I, I it took me back because I'm just like wow they didn't have shampoos for girls with straight hair how are they gonna use what is it main choice. main choice which is for kinky curly wavy hair and they have straight hair their hair is already oily that stuff is not gonna help them so I do feel like that it was a lack of product in the hauler bag for people that did have straight hair and didn't you know require oils and all of that craziness in their hair like we do um as far as beauty con it should have been i had fun i didn't i wasn't there the other years and reading the comments it's kind of like i was a little sad and taken back because everybody was saying how no complaints happened any other years and literally all i got this year was complaints like there was barely anybody that said they were having fun everybody was complaining because they've been to beauty con um new york for you know every single year and then this year they come and it's treachery like um it was just i had fun the only thing i could really could did, didn't like was the lack of samples the long lines um i loved the people there like the the you was just meeting honestly y'all if y'all don't have no friends to go to beauty con with just go by yourself because i promise you you're gonna meet people and y'all gonna be talking like y'all knew each other for years because we would made all types of friends and exchanged information with people that we was just sitting next to and we was just chit-chatting with they was looking out everybody was looking out for each other that was saving seats like it was oh my god that was funny but um and another thing uh i like the food the food was pretty good the food line went fast um i also expected people to be like for some reason i i thought everybody was gonna have their faces beat and their makeup and all that stuff done but there was people coming in there looking a hot mess like no hair not done face not done wearing pajamas like but then there were some people that was looking like unicorns like you so honestly if you want to get up out the bed and go to beauty con you can because you nobody going to look at you crazy because there's other people that look like that too um what is another thing that i had to say uh the cardi b thing the second day i think i touched on this already but people it was just so unorganized there was no signs where the hauler bag supposed to be or where the access all access passes were supposed to be so since everybody was trying to get um a seat for cardi b and everything everybody's sitting down and we there since like 12 30 and she was supposed to go on at two and she didn't go on until like 5 30 and there was people standing in the middle of the aisles trying to get a seat trying to literally move people's stuff that literally went to the bathroom for like 10 minutes they were not even 10 minutes like some people had just got up and people were like they've been gone for two hours and i'm like sis just handed me my phone like three minutes ago she was not gone for two hours so people were trying to get people seats the security was trying to get people um back and they weren't listening it was a fire hazard they weren't letting people out of the venue because it was over capacity and it was getting hectic because it was so many people there waiting for cardi b that they were getting like it was almost like oh my gosh it's such a big celebrity and she's about to perform a concert when she was just doing a panel and i understand but i mean i was good because i had my seat but there was almost a fight apparently somebody said somebody that there was a fight broke out or almost a fight whatever it was and it was just like calm down and like i'm a this, whoever is thinking about going to beauty con next year y'all need to plan ahead don't think if um 
Cardi B, for instance, is coming at 2 o'clock, that you're going to get a seat when you arrive there at 1.30. You need to get there at 12 o'clock, at least, to sit down and get you a front row seat. Don't think you're coming in five minutes before Cardi B come on stage and you're going to get a seat, and then you want to cause a ruckus. No, that's not how it works. So, But I just don't... Um, my overall experience for like 1 out of 10 for BeautyCon would have to be like a 7. Yeah, it had to be a 7 because I mostly had a good time. Um, uh, you know, I was a little t upset that I spent my whole entire second day waiting on Cardi. But, you know, I made a lot of good friends. I still ate and I did mostly everything I need to do. So, I really had a good time. I just, I'm, I'm more of a positive person than anything. So, I'm mostly looking at the positivity of things. Even though there was a lot of negatives, I didn't go to BeautyCon last year to really compare it to anything. So, I... I, you know, I enjoyed myself. I liked looking at the people and their different looks. And I liked listening to the people and seeing the people in person that I follow on Instagram. And it was really inspiring because there's so many people that came from nothing that were entrepreneurs and doing their thing there. And it just really inspired me to get back into things. Because I know I haven't been on my YouTube in a while, but that is changing. I just got to keep going for it really and beauty con is really about inspiration and just being beautiful not on the outside but on the inside as well it really pushes you like the the people there push you to be just a great genuine person on in, inside out so yeah um I would just say, like, don't listen to the comments on Instagram and Twitter and be like, oh, I'm just not going to go to BeautyCon NYC or BeautyCon at all anymore because, trust me, she's looking at the emails and she is taking that feedback and she's fixing it because this little girl emailed her to bring Cardi B this year and she literally brought Cardi B because of a little girl that emailed her. So, y'all, she's like... She's looking at your comments. She even said something about that. She saw y'all Instagram comments and she said something like the Twitter, the, comment, the Twitter comments. Like she was reading them. So she's taking that into account. So y'all, just give it another year. Now I can understand if it's like this next year, then don't go at all. <laughs> but just give it another chance. I would say don't listen to everybody else. Still give it a try. It did make me a little sad that everybody else was saying, oh, it was so much better the other years. And of course, the year I go, it's not all that. But I still have fun, so that was the real tea about BeautyCon. Ooh, <laughs> the real tea about BeautyCon um, and my honest review. And also just know the people in the area you're in. Those stereotypes are real too. The, diff the difference between East Coast and West Coast people, I'm from Baltimore. And y'all know New Yorkers are blunt. That's what they're known for, and trust me, those New Yorkers there were blunt. Though they gonna tell you like, you like y'all just gotta keep it cool, hold y'all ground, be nice, because they are a little blunt. So just don't take anything that um somebody may say to heart because it's they're just telling the truth. It's not necessarily that they're being mean. They're just being honest. But um yeah, thanks for tuning in to my review slash well my beauty car review slash what's in my bag video and um i will see y'all on the next video